Hi, I'm Eric Paulson from DK Waterfall Archery Import. I want to show you how you can use the Greylag Goose Call Greylag Ghost. It's actually the same technique as the Greylag Hammer, so what you say in the Greylag Ghost is the same as the Greylag Hammer. I'll demonstrate it. I'll turn the call around, try to blow from the back side of the call. It should sound like this. <coughs> I'm actually saying, uh, uh, so you have to growl from the throat. Uh, uh, grr, grr. I'll turn the call around the right way. Remember to put it between the thumb and the index finger, just about one and a half centimeters. And cuff your fingers, and it'll sound like this. That's the start. The other sound you have to produce in this call is a sharp uh, sound, you break the reed. You'll say, oot, oot, oot. it'll sound like this. <coughs> Put the two sounds together and you'll have. <coughs> so now you have to produce a kind of, a kind of laughing sound. <laughs> Get the sharp sounds and then the laughing sound <laughs> as you growl in your throat and it'll sound like this <laughs> so when you practice and you'll be faster with it you'll make all the different sounds like the gray like goose says while opening and closing your fingers <laughs> It's actually quite easy. You just have to practice and practice and you'll get it right. I want to show you on this little film clip how to use a short reed goose call. This is the Canada Hammer. It's very important to hold it the right way. You put it in between your thumb and your index finger just about one and a half centimeters, not further in than that. Hold it here and then you put your other hand cuffing it up towards the other and that makes a sound chamber. I'll turn the call around so you can hear what I say into the call. Actually I'm saying good, good, good. and that sounds like this. It's very important to increase uh, the flow of the air to make it break the reed. It'll sound like this then, when I turn the call around, hold it the right way, cuff my hand, uh, fingers together. You can hear I'm breaking the reed. To make the short version, uh, the cluck, you'll have to say gut, gut, gut. And that sounds like this. So the language that the Canada Goose uses is built upon the two sounds, the honks and the clucks. So you have to combine these two, like this. It's quite easy, you just have to practice. I want to show you how to use a pink foot goose call called Pinkfoot Hammer. It's actually quite easy. You have to remember that this call requires back pressure. If you put it in between your thumb and your index finger, just about one and a half centimeters in, close your fingers around it and cuff your other hand around, but you squeeze the air into the call. Actually, I squeeze my fingers together, that produces a higher sound. And then I say into the call, <coughs> It'll sound like this. It's so easy. 
So you just have to practice and remember, practice makes perfect. I'd like to show you the techniques, what you need to use a duck call correctly. It's very important to put the call in between your thumb and your index finger, just about one and a half centimeter. You only use one hand on a duck call. And it's important that you say GUT, and you have to stop the airflow with a T, a sharp T. GUT, GUT, GUT. Put that sound into the call, and it'll sound like this. So that's the correct sound for a mallard hen. And you can use that for the most of uh, the different types of ducks that you want to hunt. When you use it to call a lonesome hen, you'll say good, 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 good. The feeding call sounds like this. If you want to make it a little faster, you can say duck 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 a double cut. Put it all together and it's very effectful. Try it, it works.